Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Saham Malik and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can program a file when your setup 1 and setup 2 or up 1 and up 2 are actually two separate files. So you can see I have two files here. One is corresponding to the first up and you can see the second up is actually a separate file here. And we want to program both. Um, and set them in a way that Cam Assist can program them at the same time. But let's start with the first part. Let's go to Cam Assist tab. And before I click on Software Designer, let's go to Part Navigator. And here you can see I don't have uh, any uh, body defined as my JAWS. So let's now go to the Software Designer. It asks us to select the part, so we can just pick the part. Here it is. We don't have any JAWS, so we want the software designer to also create JAWS for us. The next question is about a spindle direction. So we know the spindle direction going to be from the Z axis, so I'm going to pick that. And we can just pick one of the faces as our spindle direction. And for the opening direction of the jaws, as you can see, these jaws are going to be moving in Y axis like this. So I'm going to pick one of the side faces as our uh, opening direction. I'm going to keep the interlock prevention and multi-level uh, option on. But I'm not going to change anything else. Of course, you can always uh, modify the size and geometry of the jaws and the position of the jaws. But I'm just going to press OK. OK, and now you can see that we have these two bodies. And these are going to be our jaws. If I turn off the main model, you can see that our software designer already considered the shape of that part and it made the jaws in a right way. Now we can set up our workpiece. So by that I mean we just uh, select the part, selected bonding block as our stock and we also selected the jaws and the voice as our specified check. Because we want to link these two files together, we want to use the associated IPW workflow in an X. So here I'm going to right click and edit this work piece. Of course, the model is the same, but for a specify blank, we're going to click on this drop down and go with IPW in process work piece. And then select source for IPW. We're going to select our first part, which is aircraft op one, and then we're going to select the workpiece. Everything else is fine, so I can just press OK. And of course, I can just pick the JAWS and the VICE as my specified check. And now these two files are connected, so you can see here. And we can now go back to the first operation and start programming this part. I'm going to open Cam Assist. And although we can decide whether we want to do 3 axis or 3 plus 2, this is not the main tutorial to explain to you how you can do 3 plus 2 machining mode in Cam Assist. What I really want to show you is about multi file support. So you can click here. And then Cam Assist already recognizes the second op. You can see that the name of this file, op2, is the same as what I have here. So this is the second op. And both files, setup1 and setup2, is now uh, selected for Cam Assist to program. I keep everything else as before. Um, so I'm going to use the default values. For my tools, I'm going to use built-in Cam Assist tool set. And for operations, I'm going to keep the face milling on. And for toolpath generation, I'm going to keep my selection as 
ask each time and I'm going to press OK. So in this scenario, CAMASIS recognizes that there are two files. They are linked based on the IPW. So it tries to then program the first part and then it passes the information to the second op and then complete the program. At the end of this process, we're going to have two operation program by CAMASIS. To answer this question, whether we want to generate any tool paths or not, I'm going to press no, because I just want to show you how the file is going to be programmed by CAMASIS. Okay, now you can see that CAMASIS made all the operation for us. Of course, I asked CAMASIS not to generate any tool paths. That's why these are having the red sign but we can generate them later i just wanted to show you that we made the program for op one and we also made the program for op two so we can also expand this and you can see the operations here thank you very much for watching this video and i see you in the next tutorial